Yep. Okay. I, one thing, I, 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 I'd, I'd like this to go smoothly, so I'll do it really quickly. I noticed that on Monday when I was not able to attend the briefing that you had a little Q&A about my accreditation status. So I just want to state one thing very briefly. I have a, a, a legal letter has been received by, by a DPI to not touch my office, not touch any of the files, but I need to cover the meeting this afternoon. I'm just stating that because I thought it was inappropriate. But my question is as follows. Is it common UN practice to, to tell a journalist to leave the building and give up resident correspondent status without ever once speaking to them? Is that considered an investigation? What is the lowest standard that the UN can go to to have something to be considered a review of the facts? I would uh, encourage you to ha direct all those questions to, to Ms. Gallak uh, and to DPI. I have one more question. Okay. Is it, is it, what are the rules for the use of physical force by UN security? Because on Friday evening, I was pushed down the escalator and into the street, and my laptop was thrown on the street, and I, want, and I, did, I was offering absolutely zero physical, physical. I, I so would, I wanted to know, I what is the recourse I for someone to whom this happens? That's my I question would, to you. I would uh, encourage you to raise all these issues having to do with your accreditation, your treatment, and so forth to Ms. Gallagher. What, what are the rights of people uh, in this building not to be that's pushed what, by that's, UN security? I, I'm, that's, that's that was my answer to your question. Okay. Thank you. Mr. Lee. Sure. I want to ask what I was asking uh, as a follow-up, and then I want to ask another question that I hope you'll let me ask. Uh, as to Mali, what I wanted to know is whether the conditions of uh, the Dutch contingent, which is a part of MINUSMA, are similar or different than those of the Chadian contingent. As I previously asked you about their equipment, their communications equipment, mm -hmm. they seem to also be different. So some people look at it and they say it's, it should be one peacekeeping. How do you explain the different, or, or do you acknowledge or disagree? That I, I don't. I don't know where the where the Dutch are stationed. I don't know if they're stationed in uh, in Kidal. Uh, the issue of uh, of equipment, especially sometimes with contingents uh, that don't come. Uh, with enough equipment creates challenges for, for DPKO. I know the Chadians uh, have been on the front lines of the UN's work in Mali, have borne the brunt of some of the violence uh, that we've seen, and I know uh, we and DPKO, everyone is extremely grateful uh, for what they do, and I'm sure the mission does whatever they can to ensure that their, con their conditions are, um, are acceptable. Okay. Let me ask this one. I have some other stuff, but I want to be sure, just please bear with me. It has to do with, uh, with uh, um, Yesterday at the, at the Security Council stakeout, the President of the Council, uh, Venezuela, uh, asked about press freedom at the UN, said, I hope you get your office back. And I'm asking you, are you aware of this? And the reason I'm asking you is you often from this podium say, it's an institution of member states. We'll say, why doesn't Ban Ki-moon stop taking such and such peacekeepers who are known to be sexual abused? And you'll say, well, it's up to member states. So this is the President of the Council, and I'm wondering, do you take note of it? The staff union has also I, I, issued the same call. So my, my question behind it is this. I'm looking at an article that came out at, during the briefing, admittedly, in Business Insider, and it quotes, your, it has your office. It says, I was thrown out of my office and into the street because... Okay, what, what is the question? Okay, my question is this. My question is as follows. Did, is it true that it, as part of this investigation that never involved talking with me once, as now acknowledged by DPI to Business Insider, that your office spoke with them? And if so, what did you say? That who spoke with whom? It says right here, it says that a spokesman for DPI said that it wasn't necessary to speak with me because they spoke, DPI, quote, DPI also spoke I, at I, length Matthew, with Matthew, the office Matthew, of the spokesman. Matthew, Matthew, I, as, you. Matthew as, as much as I trust yeah. what you're reading, I would like to read what you're reading okay, from first. Okay, will you first. give me an answer today? Sec, sec, second of all, uh, I know the mission of Venezuela was uh, in contact uh, with the Department of Public Information and all their questions were answered. Not true. As, they, they, well, Darren, Matthew, Darren Ferrant told Matthew, them nothing would be Matthew, changed. I'm, I'm, that's a I'm, direct quote. I'm done. Thank no, you. Well. Uh, go ahead. Thank you. Thank you.